<clears throat> All right, so my uh, main objective in this testing and evaluation, uh, and the nice folks at TriggerCam sent me the unit to test and evaluate specifically with thermal uh, technology. So this unit here is a bearing optics Hawkster 35 millimeter thermal rifle scope. Uh, it has rear focus, uh, rear objective diopter focus, as well as forward manual focus. And so I'll find the correct adapter and we'll go through the same drill of getting it fitted here before we go to the range. Uh, that way we don't have to do too much of that uh, during the course of fire tomorrow. So uh, let's see if we can uh, get the image to get focused and how much of it is limited through the trigger cam. So a little bit uh, of interference with the body moldings and contours of a thermal scope and the trigger cam, albeit the trigger cam is probably the slimmest uh, profile and most non-intrusive. Uh, these thermal optics, they get wide pretty quickly around the back end. And um, I put a piece of cardboard around the lock ring to keep... What I found is without the piece of cardboard, the trigger cam would want to turn right or left because this, this weighs almost 12-13 uh, ounces itself and with it on the rear objective uh, focus it, w it was turning so I assume under recoil that it was going to want to walk on me and when you uh, touch that back rear objective focus it, it's pretty um, sensitive so every eighth of a turn is going to take your reticle out of focus so in order to keep it from walking this piece of cardboard you can tell how it's compressed pretty good there and it's not walking on me. So you could always trim that with an X-Acto knife. It wouldn't be so obvious. Or use something black, black on black. You won't be able to see it. Uh, but nonetheless, the restricted view through the scope, because of how far back the trigger cam is sitting, um, I'm really just seeing the reticle, which I would say is about 30%, 35% of the full view that I'm ordinarily used to recording with external DVRs or seeing with my eye behind the scope. So it really is restricted. I don't know that it's going to work um, for my purposes with the bearing optics hogster. Uh, but we'll, we'll give it a run on the range and uh, you'll get a pretty good idea of what you can and can't see and the clarity. Alright, the light pole with the car at the base is 125 yards away. This is the view through a trigger cam behind a hogster thermal optic. That mailbox is about 25 yards away. So Brian is getting the trigger cam ready on his uh, long-range thermal monocular. While he's doing that, this is the bearing optics hogster on a 243 Winchester. I'm going to verify my hunting zero because I've taken the optic off at least a dozen times since I last shot. Um, so I'll verify my zero at 100 without the trigger cam on. And then we will uh, attach the trigger cam to the back of the thermal rifle scope and see if the point of impact shifts at all. I doubt that it will, but it's just another test that we do. I am so aspiring to turn this gun into a 12 pound rig, so I'm just going to hang as much stuff as I can on it. But seriously, uh, I'm going to run concurrently the wired external DVR recorder that I've been using. That's going to provide you a direct from the sensor recorded image of what the scope is viewing uh, and I'm going to run it with the trigger cam running which is this, uh, as we test fitted it yesterday and you'll see here in a little bit it's really showing just the crosshair um, 
and I've tried to focus it as best I can. Uh, but we'll get a good idea of the differences in the same shooting situation between the images. This is how I'll hunt uh, the rig tonight with both systems running. Hopefully we'll see some pigs or some coyotes or other game uh, and have something to show for it uh, by tomorrow. Uh, so I shot the hogster without the trigger cam on. Um, I'll roll in the image of that uh, target. Uh, both bullets impacted the uh, foil uh, square. So now that I have the trigger cam on, I'm going to verify that there's no point of impact shift looking through this. So here we go. Two shots. Quarter of an inch off. Two shots.